Hello everyone. Today we are looking at the website MyHistro at MyHistro.com. Named to the 2013 American Association of School Librarians list of best websites for teaching and learning. If you're looking to create a timeline, you've come to the right place. So right now, let's get started with logging in. If this is your first time coming to the site, you need to click the sign up button seen here in the top right corner. You will need an email address unless you would like to connect to one of these social media websites listed here. I'm going to jump ahead now to my account where I'm already signed in. When you log, on, log in for the first time, you'll be taken to the account dashboard seen here. Here you can see some of the popular timelines being viewed. My history may also send you notifications here. You have the option to explore timelines created by other users, but right now we are going to work on making our own. So go ahead and click on the profile button under your name. This is where you'll be doing all of your creating. To make a timeline, we have to first create the events. So click the create new event button off to the right. Every event in the timeline will be created in this window. Enter a title for your individual event, then add whatever information you have. To the right here, you can set the date for the event and add a picture. You can see today's date. Along the bottom, you will see the mapping service provided by Google. Click on the hand tool and you can drag the pin to exactly where you would like your event to take place. When you are finished entering all of the information, click Done. You'll continue creating your events, but right now I will show you how to add them to a timeline. When we finished our last event, we returned to our account profile. You can see that I already have a couple of stories listed here, but I'm going to create a new one for you now. Click the green button on the right that says Create New Story. In the first step, you will fill in the basic information, including the title of your timeline. So I'm going to put in Demo. You can do a description, which other users will be able to see. And you can also add a photo here to represent your timeline. When you're finished, click the Next button. Step 2 is where you add the events you created earlier. Now if you forgot anything, you'll see that it gives you a chance to create them now. Up at the top here. To add an event, simply click and drag it from the left column to the right. I'll do that with my demo here. If you don't remember what your event was, you'll see you can view the details by scrolling over it. You can also edit it as well, but don't worry about putting them in order. Since you entered the dates for the events, my history will arrange them for you once they go into the timeline. When you are finished picking your events, click the Save Story button. Now, we're in the viewing screen, which other users will see when they come to your timeline. From here, you can play the timeline, go back and edit or delete, seen here. Lower down on the right-hand side, you have the options to export. You can create a PDF out of your timeline. Or you can embed your timeline in another website by copying and pasting one of these URLs. Anyone We'll be able to add a comment as well, which you can see here, to the overall timeline. Let's hit the play button and see how our timeline looks. You'll see my history flying from one event to the next on both the timeline along the top and the map. If you click on the events as they pop up on the map, you can see the rest of the information you entered. Here you can add comments, read about what you wrote, or see the pictures that you added. You can also click the Next button to go to the next event manually. When you're finished viewing your timeline, let's return to our profile. Click the Home tab at the top of the screen. So that concludes the timeline creation portion of My Histro, but as I said earlier, there's a large library of user-created timelines which you can see under the Explore tab, which I'm clicking on right now. You can search along 
this window here or along any of the tags that people have added to their individual timelines. You also may have noticed the 3D battle button along the top. This is the side project of my histro called Project Histric. This content is created and maintained by my histro, but it is still very valuable. Users can view 3D recreations of battles and can request new battles at the bottom of the screen, which you see here. I think that about wraps up the majority of the amazing features you will find in my histro. I strongly encourage you to explore the library and enjoy what other users have created. If you'd like more information, you can always contact MyHistro directly at the information provided here. Thanks for watching my video and have a great day.